What's up everyone, Hippo here, and in today's video, I'm going to cover the top and the best weapons in Rogue Company. Though this game is insanely balanced and the dev team is continually making tweaks to keep it that way, there are still some guns that remain on the top of the list and are definitely worth checking out. Let's jump into the video. There are so many weapons to choose from in Rogue Company, and finding the best one can be difficult. I want to share with you some of the best weapons that you can get your hands on and what makes them so deadly. First, let's talk about the KA-30. This weapon is available to Ronin and Dima. It deals 19 damage for a body shot, has a magazine size of 30 at the base level, and can be upgraded to a magazine size of 40. It has a fire rate of 8.2, reload speed of 2.3, and a base handling of 37, with the option to increase the hip fire shooting from 37 to 43, and the damage range from 18 to 22. The reason this weapon is at the top of the list is it does an incredible job dealing great damage at range and up close. When fully upgraded, the hip fire works great in a pinch, and if you have a good shot, getting headshots with this weapon deals massive amounts of damage. Another incredible weapon to look at is the LR-15. This weapon is only available to Phantom and deals 70 damage for a body shot, has a range of 70, magazine size of 4 at the base level, and you can upgrade it to 6. The fire rate is a bit slow at 0.87, but the handling for this weapon is 65 at the base level, and it can be upgraded to 76. This will also increase scope speed and reduces the recoil. This weapon is not necessarily meant for close quarters. It's more deadly at range, but I have seen some people use this in a devastating way up close. When fully upgraded and in the right hands, this will absolutely destroy the enemy squad and will leave them wishing they had an LR-15 of their own. The next weapon I want to focus on is the MLX Maw that Anvil has. Some people wouldn't put this weapon at the top of their list, but as the only LMG in the game, it packs a mean punch. It does 16 for body damage, has a range of 18, a default magazine size of 60, with the ability to upgrade it to 90, fire rate of 11, handling of 26, and a reload time of 4. But let's be honest, you won't have to reload this thing very much. Fully upgraded, this weapon really unleashes hell on your enemies as the first upgrade increases the magazine size and movement speed while aiming, the second upgrade gives you more damage at range, and the final upgrade reduces recoil and the reticle bloom. Basically, give a fully upgraded mod to an anvil, throw that anvil in the back of a corner on an objective, and let them mow down anyone or anything that comes their way. Another absolutely incredible weapon is the Mamba. This weapon is available to both Dima and Saint, and honestly is one of those guns that I think most people look over. This weapon has a body damage of 45, a fire rate of 8.9, range of 29, and handling of 49. You can upgrade both the magazine size from 30 to 42, reduce the recoil and increase accuracy, and the final upgrade, you can upgrade your damage range from 29 to 35. I think the reason so many people are unsure about this weapon is the burst fire, but landing your shots with this weapon combined with the recoil and handling of a fully upgraded Mamba can pack some serious punch to the enemy. Now let's talk about one of the newer weapons introduced to the game, the Objection. This weapon can be found on one of the newer rogues of Rogue Company called Dahlia. The body damage of this weapon does 11, magazine size of 30, and a huge fire rate of 16.67, the fastest firing rate of any weapon in the game. A default handling of 35 and a reload time of 1.35. The reason this weapon lands on the top of the weapon list is it has virtually no recoil whatsoever. I am serious. Jumping into a shooting range and try this weapon out for yourself, it is based basically a laser beam. You can increase this weapon lethality by upgrading it. The first upgrade you will get will reduce the recoil even more, second upgrade increases the reload speed, and the final upgrade to this weapon increases the damage range and adds some nasty suppressing fire. In the right hands, this weapon can absolutely devastate. And last, but certainly not least, it's probably the best weapon in the game, hands down, in Rogue Company, and that is the katana. Okay, seriously though, don't forget about a good old fashioned melee weapon in this game. They certainly do pack a mean punch, especially at close range, and a 4K a pop, they're a steal of a deal. 
every weapon I've mentioned, I would consider some of the best weapons in the game. Like I mentioned earlier, you can load up a shooting range map and try them out for yourself. I also linked in the description below a spreadsheet listing out all the guns in detail, so feel free to take a look at that as well. So there you have it, my list of the best weapons in Rogue Company to date. What weapon do you think should be on that list? Let me know in the comments below. And I would also love to know what weapons you think are the worst in the game. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me when you do. And I promise to keep making great content for you. Well, I will try at least. In your faces, every single one of you!